Located in the historic district of downtown Defuniac Springs in Walton County, Florida, stands Hotel Defuniac, a building constructed over a hundred years ago. The building that is Hotel Defuniac was built in 1920, although it originally wasn't a hotel at all. This site on the corner of East Nelson Avenue and 8th Street was originally built to serve as the town's Masonic Lodge 170. It operated as the lodge for 14 years, the Masons holding their gatherings on the second floor until ultimately the building fell into foreclosure during the Great Depression and closed in 1934. The building was then purchased by an attorney who converted the main floor into a restaurant called Rick's Cafe and utilized the second story for boarding rooms. Ownership changed hands again at some point in the 1940s when pharmacist Marshall James Lightfoot became the proprietor of the building. Lightfoot continued operating the second floor boarding rooms, now under the name of Lightfoot Hotel, but converted the restaurant on the main floor into his pharmacy, Lightfoot Drugstore. Marshall Lightfoot died on May the 10th, 1965 at the age of 56. After his death, the building served for some years as the location of Danley's Furniture Company. During the 1990s, six families set out in a joint investment to purchase the building and return it to its former function as a local hotel. It was upon the hotel's reopening in 1998 that the hotel first operated under the name Hotel Defuniac. In the past, there had been a completely different hotel named Hotel Defuniac, located approximately three blocks southwest of the current hotel, so any mention of a Hotel Defuniac by that name prior to 1998 is completely unrelated. By 2001, the hotel was sold to Tom and Pam Hutchins, who owned the premises for the next 15 years. The hotel was closed for a short while prior to its most recent sale, but has been open again since 2017 under new ownership. As the legend goes, a woman is said to have murdered her two young children by drowning them in the bathtub of room 8, sometimes referred to as the aviary room. It remains unknown who the woman was or exactly when this tragedy is said to have taken place. Both hotel staff and guests alike uh, have claimed to have had strange experiences thought to be the ghosts of the two young children. Some have claimed to have heard children singing nursery rhymes in and around room 8 while some have claimed to have heard footsteps of children running throughout the hotel or even seen the children throughout the hotel, often at times when no guests were staying in the hotel that had children with them. It's also said that when families with children have stayed in the hotel, uh, some have woken up in the morning to find their children's toys moved from where they were, found them underneath the bed and drenched in water. Some people claim that uh, objects, in particular, usually it's said to be a lamp, but um, the objects have apparently moved around the room on their own. Now, if you have watched many of my videos on this channel before, you'll know that I've stated in the past, uh, I don't consider myself to be a, a paranormal investigator. This channel exists mostly to be informative and highlight various locations and stories. Uh, that way, other people who want to investigate might find something new or know what they're going to see and things like that. Generally, I'm, I don't do paranormal investigations. However, uh, while we were at Hotel Defuniac, uh, my, my kids and I decided that while we were staying there, uh, we'd have a little fun with it and see what we might come up with. So this is our stay at Hotel Defuniac, and uh, 
whereas we don't normally do this, you'll see we have some various tools for uh, ghost investigation. And uh, so we're just going to mess around and see what all we can come up with. So let's check it out. Right off the bat, I notice a familiar pattern on this bedspread. Where have I seen this pattern before? Uh-oh. Hey guys, we are in our room. This is room seven at Hotel De Funiac, and we're gonna check some stuff out and try some things. And uh, yeah, this is one of the rooms at the Hotel De Funiac that's said to be haunted. Um, I think the most popular story that most people hear is there's supposedly <laughs> the ghost of two children that uh, in the middle of the night, people sometimes see them, uh, uh, sometimes hear them sing like uh, nursery rhyme songs and stuff like that. And uh, so we're gonna test some stuff out and just see if we can find anything strange or out of the ordinary here in our room. And um, so we've got, we've got a few tools with us. We usually don't do this, um, this much stuff, but since we're staying in the room, uh, we can film our stay. And uh, we're gonna check out some different kinds of tools. Um, see what we can come up with. Uh, Excited? Scared? Yeah. yeah, are we going out there or staying here? We're staying here for a little bit. We're going to do some stuff with that. Cool. Wait. I'm going to go Why don't we, um, you want to kill the flash and we'll use the black light as our light source? No. How much does that pick up? Um, it picks up the green, but it doesn't pick up anybody um, else. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's supposed to be like that. Let's see this. Okay. So what's your thing reading? Uh, it's... Okay, so it's not picking up anything for EMF right now. It says it's 82 degrees in here. I'm not sure if that's exactly accurate, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little stuffy in here. Um, did the little kids die here? Uh, supposedly in the room next to us, in room 8. Oh, in our room, we have Well, this is one of the rooms that's said to be haunted. Uh, supposedly, it was in room eight when they died. Whoa, Cassie, look at those dots. Why don't you move around the room with your detector and see if it'll uh, pick up oh, anything? I don't move around. see anything. Wait, don't touch it. Why don't you look around with this? It says 822 Fahrenheit. Turn your light in there and see if you see anything. Hey, shoot. Let's go to the No, he's he's standing in front of him. He's seeing himself.
creepiness going on. I think it's creepy in here. That's like the 829. 827, 824, 825, 829. Whoa, there's a big ghost in here. Can I use the light, baby? Well, I don't get anything. Yeah. Oh, I just so close I my I feel like if I put it over the toilet and then it starts beeping, Just do it on the toilet. Oh, why I don't get nothing. 831. Is it beeping? That's the only thing that changed. 831. It's going up a degree in there. Or is it staying staying the same? It's 8.31. Hey, can I get the green thing or the... the it's getting warmer in here because we've got the air conditioner turned off uh, for sound. I can't breathe. Oh, let's check it over here. Okay. What's this? What's on the toilet? See how it beeps. Put it like on top of the toilet? Uh-huh. It just moved. It just, it just spin. spin. No ghost in oh. the potty? No. Just made a noise over here. Oh, is there a it made a noise over there? Yeah, y'all were moving over there, and I can hear the floor creaking, but something made a noise like around the desk. What kind of noise? It just sounded like something moving or something on the floor. On the floor? Why are you in the ghost room? Do you have your little detector? Yeah. Is there any? What did it sound like? It just kind of sounded like something moved or something. That is part of the one of the legends that we read online I'm is scared. something about uh that the children ghost that people find toys underneath the bed I think when they wake up in the morning or they find toys that are soaking wet I'm not seeing anything What is that? Is that a dog in here? something it's very creepy the lights have flickered and that ding um turned red and that's ding 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 well why don't you hold on to it and see if anything happens oh it just turned to wet check under the bed i'm gonna move to the back corner of the bed so that while you do that the light switches will be in view you go so to anybody will know that if it does it again, what mess? Well, you might Daddy. be in his way. Yeah, I'm scared. Say, say the little thing that you were saying a minute ago, too. Little kids, little kids, are you here? Yeah, that's a long shot. 
hey turn on that lamp so that you can see the light switch because it's really dark over there there we go you can see there's nobody at the light switch is Daddy, hmm? I need help. You can say that again. I need help. Check under the bed again. Let's check the You want me to check under the bed again? Um, under here. Oh, with this thing? Just in case. 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 Just in uh oh, the kids are somewhere else. Little kids, little kids, are you here? Uh, little kids, are you here? Because I don't see your mom. Yeah. Daddy, what? Mom, Daddy? Hmm? Um, how'd the little kids die? I don't really know. Mommy Were they drowned? Huh? Maybe. Uh, well, their mom really did that. Little and her kids, mom, their mom little kids, are you here? Was it like two kids? Yeah, two kids.
شبیه ببین Huh? I don't want to get stuck in here. I don't know if that door locked from in here. Let's not go out that door. Why? Now, unfortunately, I can't give you my recommendation to stay at Hotel de Funiac, um, but I will offer a warning instead. If you choose to stay at Hotel de Funiac, um, I hope that your visit won't be as disappointing as mine was. Um, and what I mean by that is if you make a reservation specifically to stay in the most well-known haunted room, uh, room eight, they may not honor your reservation um, as was the case with our stay. Uh, they may change your reservation and not even give you the courtesy of informing you of the issue before you arrive. Um, and as I learned, that causes for a rather disappointing stay if the sole purpose of your stay was this one particular room. Allow me to elaborate. I called the hotel on Tuesday, August the 31st of 2021 and specifically asked if roommate would be available for Saturday, September the 4th of 2021. Um, I was told that it would be available and that it wouldn't be a problem to reserve the room. However, when we arrived at the hotel on the afternoon of Saturday, September the 4th, 2021, no one was at the front desk, uh, but there was paperwork with uh, my name on it uh, sitting on the front desk um, with a key and it was all listed for room 7 uh, so I had to go uh, find somebody I had to go over to the Cafe Nola area of the hotel and find someone to address the problem with uh, I explained to them that I had booked room 8 specifically but my paperwork has me in room 7 uh, they then informed me that some people who had evacuated from Louisiana due to Hurricane Ida had been staying in room 8, and they decided to extend their stay. I, I told them that's no good. You, you could have called me before driving an hour and a half to get here. Um, um, essentially, they just asked if I'd like to cancel. I didn't cancel because I didn't intend to spend my Saturday driving what would be a three-hour round trip for nothing and dealing with the kids disappointment and all that now normally I'm pretty easy going and understanding hey situations change things come up I get that but I believe that the handling of the situation uh, by hotel management was poorly handled um, and don't misunderstand, I'm completely 
sympathetic with the needs of the family who were um, hurricane evacuees needing to extend their stay. I, I get that. Um, they're probably dealing with some stuff, uh, and here we are. We're, we're just wanting to stay in a ghost room. <laughs> so I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, all I'm saying is that the proper thing to do would have been to either tell the hurricane evacuee family uh, when they decided to extend their stay that they can happily accommodate their need to extend the stay, but that they would need to move them into one of the other available rooms uh, as someone had specifically booked room eight for that evening. Uh, if, if they didn't want to do that, that's fine, and I can accept that. They could have then called me at that point and said, hey, the room you requested will not be available. Um, would you like a different room? To which I would have easily said, uh, no, thank you. We'll reschedule for another time. Instead, they chose neither acceptable option and decided to let me travel an hour and a half only to discover that the room I had reserved uh, would not be available and that they had assigned me a different room. Needless to say, I was not pleased. Um, but I'm not unreasonable, and I'm um, always really patient and polite and courteous uh, and understanding with hotel or dining staff, uh, but they handled this in a really disappointing manner, in, in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed checking out our stay at Hotel Defuniac. I appreciate you hanging out with me and watching us, and we will catch you next time.